This is the most ridiculous thing I've seen in my life and I have like the biggest smile on my face. This is so American. Another rainy day in paradise. <laughs> we are in Aberdeen in Washington and we're in the Walmart parking lot. I had a sudden realization this morning. I don't know if you guys have seen the People of Walmart website, but we woke up in the parking lot and like looked significantly worse than we do right now. And I had a sudden realization that that's probably how a lot of those people are show the, up on the that website. Because we are the people of Walmart. We get out of our car in our pajamas and then put away a bed and then go into a Walmart and pee every morning. I was in my boxers last night, like just my boxers, and then I realized I needed to grab something on the other side of the car, so I had to run outside. And a family drove by and a like, kid in the back seat was just staring at me so confused why this like almost fully naked guy was just running around his car. So we have become those people, which I don't know how I feel about that to be entirely I'm not honest. proud. I'm not proud. No, we're not, we're not proud of it. So we are at Long Beach right now. And we pull up thinking, you know, let's park, let's walk along the beach like you normally would. But we're still in the car because you know why? You literally just drive along this beach. You just rip around. I've seen like donut rings and stuff like that. So we're gonna have some fun here. We're gonna drive along this beach. This is amazing. This is the most ridiculous thing I've seen in my life and I have like the biggest smile on my face. This is so American. We have there's a like, a, there's giant Jeeps with like crazy wheels just lining up. Pretty sure they're getting ready to race. It's just, it's so American. We have a giant beautiful beach. Let's just race on it and drive our cars all along it. And the beach is massive. We just kind of came to this beach on a whim because of our canceled Mount Rainier plans and like this blew our mind. This made my entire day <laughs> and the day is just starting. For the record, if you wanna visit this absolutely ridiculous beach, it's Long Beach in Washington State. Oh my God, it's so ridiculous. And now where are we headed? We're headed to Cape Disappointment. Someone clearly was not happy with where they landed. Some explorer was got felt like he got the short straw or something. Yeah. When we shut our doors now, sand falls out from unknown crevices in the car. And just like that, we are now at Cape Disappointment. About a half a mile walk to Disappointment. I mean, that's I, what it it's seems called. very popular, so I doubt it's actually that disappointing. I wonder what pessimistic soul discovered this place. So there's this metal cable here, which might be a rope swing, but like, but damn, whoever's got the courage to do that, I'd love to see that. I'm assuming tide must get higher because that's insane otherwise. bridge to Oregon and I need my paper here because it's so long but this bridge is over four miles long and it is the longest continuous three span through trust bridge in the world and, Mike and it completed the highway 101 which finally made it a continuous 
continuous highway from the Canadian to the Mexican border. Pretty snazzy. And you can kind of start to see it at our window here. It is, of course, raining because we are in Washington. In a quarter of a mile. So our next four miles are pretty much gonna look like this. Ready? Ready to enter Oregon. I'm gonna get into Oregon first. I'm gonna get in the four. Oh, oh, oh. oh, you won. Oh, I can feel the hipsterness already. Woo, someone passed me a beer. I was expecting to show up to this beach and it be like some people, but like eerie shipwreck vibes. And what we didn't realize before we headed here is that there was this going on. A charity running event of some kind. <laughs> so luckily it wasn't much of a hike to get in here. You literally pull up with your car and you're good to go. <laughs> We have made it to Cannon Beach, finally. We've been waiting for this moment for... You've been looking forward to it like literally all trip. I've been looking forward to it for a while. For a long time. We're not gonna show you much of Cannon Beach today because we are meeting up with Alana's parents and their friends tomorrow and we're gonna explore it. Her dad has an itinerary for us to follow, so we don't even have to do any planning, which we never do anyways. So, <laughs> so it's really no different. Really no different. Except we won't miss things. Except, yeah, we, we will miss less sites to see. So right now we're just walking around looking for some Wi-Fi. There's so many breweries in Oregon towns, it's ridiculous. Like, pretty much every restaurant is also a brew pub. So we're gonna try and find one of those that has Wi-Fi. 